Hey guys, I'm here to do a layout share. So I've kind of kind of shown some of these already very briefly when I was talking about this kit that I was working with, but I didn't really go into detail and I've made a few more. So this was a collection of layouts that I made um, using the combined Chamel and Amy Tangerine products. Um, it was a really large kit and I worked with it for a long time. I made all these layouts here. I made 10 layouts for a client and then I made her another 15 layouts with a mix of this kit. I think I probably did about half and half so probably about seven or eight layouts still from this collection of supplies and then I pulled out a huge Maggie Holmes kit that I started to work with at my last scrapbook weekend and made a bunch of uh, the rest of the layout of her layouts with Maggie Holmes supplies because some of the pictures just felt more like Maggie Holmes the kind of um more diluted tones, um, more of the um, kind of vintage floral type of pictures versus the brighter colors. So I usually get a great mix of photos from her and so I can work with a ton of different supplies. So I really did get probably about, I don't know, anywhere, I probably got about 15 to 17 and other layouts out of that kit besides this. And of course I still have a ton left. I still kind of have it sitting out, um, but now I've moved on. I've pulled out all the Maggie Holmes supplies. Um, I combined a whole bunch of her collections just to just try to work with it as much as possible. So um, hopefully I'll get some, um, some layout shares from that done. So um, anyway, I wanted to show you these really quickly since I'm pretty much done working with that kit. Um, in a organized manner, if that makes sense. I'll probably keep it out more or less for scrapbooking for other people or if I just need it for a random photo or whatever. So, cause it's again, the very, more of a vibrant, brighter color scheme as Chamel and Amy Tan's lines usually are. So, all right. So I did a series of layouts on a, about a night I went out for my birthday. And so what, that's what these first few are. And they're kind of out of order now, but um, just had a lot of fun with the typical, the layering, the fun pattern papers. Um, and I just had two photos here, just as they're funny photos of my husband. Um, we always joke because um, I'll order something different from him than I always want when he has. And so I, we had these funny pictures of him feeding me his meal. Um, and this was at a winery we were out for uh, with some friends at a nice restaurant for my birthday. We had taken a limo out there and everything. And so um, I just took a bunch of pictures throughout the night and wanted to scrapbook them. So I was just like, kind of a fun picture of just me and him together. It was the only actually picture of me and him together that night, just us two. And so <laughs> that's all right. So I wanted to, to scrapbook them. Um, so I just did some layering up there. Just a variety of these rubber pieces, some of the um, really flat stickers and the see-through stickers and just kind of a variety of the different cards. There's those. Okay. And then this one here. Oh, I did have one of me and him together. That's right, I forgot about this. So it isn't a great picture of me by any means. Now, I'll remind you, remind you, we were at a winery. <laughs> so I may or may not have had a few glasses of wine. Anyway, <laughs> so I looked just a little like crazy. Anyway, um, again, just lots of fun layering and um, yeah, just use some of the, acet not, not acetate, but the clear stickers. And I use a lot of the foam stickers, so I have a ton of those, and they're so nice to have, but I'm kind of getting where I have a lot of them, so it's nice to get the, some of them used up. I love that this says, love this dude, that's just kind of, um, that just kind of is good, it's just a good <laughs> for, um, a good phrase for us, like we're just kind of goofy. Anyway, happy together, remember this, and then I use some of these clear heart stickers. And then one of me and just the girls. And so I just went through and found, you know, some of the phrases about friends and just lots of layering, just did lots of fun colors and um, used these clear stickers. I know these were Amy Tan, um, some washi. 
So I just kind of did the one photo and then just kind of sprayed a bunch of fun patterns and colors. I think this is probably the basis for the colors I chose for the background because I wanted to use that. And then this one was a group a group picture of all of us. We found someone in the restaurant to take a picture of all of us. And we kind of had a lot of variety of, of colors going on, which was fine. And they were all actually pretty, like, they weren't crazy colors, which was nice. Um, but uh, I kind of pulled in some of the mint green. Um, there's a lot of this kind of royal blue, which I think I pull into this one. Um, and there's some like kind of this blue here. It does it's not quite as bright, but I just wanted to get some of the greens and blues in there just because the uh, the color and the blacks as well, because those colors were represented in our in our outfits there. But kind of did some larger like just layers across this way, and then some smaller layers behind the photo. Use some enamel dots. I love these little camera stickers. I just really like, you'll see I've done this on every white layout. I just really like how that looks. I just think it kind of just pulls things together a little bit. Um, I don't know, I really like that. I'm sure someday I'll stop doing that, but I really enjoy doing that on all white backgrounds. So there's that. And this is some pictures from inside the limo, or outside the limo, and then inside the limo. We took a, the, the guys all sat together, the girls all sat together, and... We all chatted. It was about an hour drive, hour, hour and a half drive up there. And so we had some good time in the limo and um, just lots of fun. So again, lots of kind of layers are going this way. And then I just kind of stuck in some fun things in those layers, used a clear um, border sticker here that was perfect for the pictures. It says happy together, celebrate, sweet things, wonderful. So we were celebrating. So that made it great. Let the good times roll because we were in the limo. I thought that was perfect. So a good life is a collection of happy moments. I loved that. So it's really fun. And then of course, before we left, our kids had to experience the limo so they got a little a little ride and they got to get sit in the limo for a little bit um, and so I took some pictures of them um, with the limo and I just kind of did more of a wonky I kind of turned the photos and kind of went this way with uh, just a bunch of the little phrases and stickers and just went kind of this way if you can see that did a little cluster here and then a cluster up here but I kind of kept it tried to keep it diagonal um, so that was fun Okay, now we're on a completely different topic. So this page is about homecoming. I really love this page. I love, love it. Um, I don't know. I just like how everything clustered together and and worked together. So just used three photos and really kind of um, just layered them on top of each other. Um, and then used um, these alphas to make the title. Use some of these bows because some of the uh, pictures are about them. They, we had they, my daughter had some friends come over. They all got ready together and then went and then went to the dance. And so the bows I thought were very appropriate. Um, these are the days just because it's just one of those things that you know homecoming prom those types of things are things that are like you only have you only experience them for a short amount of time in your life. And so I thought that was a perfect sentiment. Um, here we go. I had this tape recorder. I thought or this tape cassette was fun and the record. I kind of went with the music theme since it was homecoming. Um, so just a lot of, try to use a lot of the elements that made sense for the topic of the page. And I usually try to do that. Um, so it's very fun, I like how that one turned out. And then another white background. <laughs> so that was like my one that was not a white background. There's another one back here, I think. Um, so this one was, you can tell it's kind of a different color scheme. So I kind of pulled Definitely from more of the Chamel line that has some purples in it because I was wearing a purple shirt. And um, use these fun coffee cups. There's lots of fun coffee cups in some of Chamel's lines and Amy Tan's too, probably. Um, but kind of kept this a little bit simpler. So there's more of a white background. Just did some kind of small layers and things behind the photo um, and just journaled directly on the background. So I, I like those little coffee cups peeking out back or behind that and again used some of these 
and then I have some of these fabric embellishments with the sequins on or it's like more like a felt um, but it's adhesive on the back um, use some sequins to become the middle of the cameras just because I had the sequins going on here and I wanted to kind of keep that going up there so lots of fun have this little sticker it says be fearless because we were on our way to a um, tryout for a play so here we go. okay so then I did this layout of my daughter was in TBC choir which is where a bunch of a big group of schools get together and they um, they learn all day they're like in like a clinic all day and then they perform and so I had some pictures from the performance and then I had the um, program from the performance that I just put in a um, uh, sleeve by itself and so this will actually go next to this in the book and this is why I use I've had some people ask why I love the d-ring binders so much or the you know the three ring d-ring binders and this is why because I don't want I don't want to have to adhere this onto another page or just not be able or just have it stored somewhere else like I want all my stuff to be together and I I need to get all that organized. I was getting there and then we moved and it messed up my entire system. But I, so I'm trying to keep things together as I can. But I don't want this to be like stored in a, in a tub somewhere and then I have a layout about this event. Like I want them to be together. So the, with the three ring binders, I can put my layout in a page protector and then put this right next to it. Um, and so I just love that concept of just it, for my mind I'd like to have things organized together and not like all over the place and that helps me do that so so this will go right next to it in the book um, but yeah just did some uh, I did use a um, pattern background paper which I don't do as often anymore but um, there was a lot of tones of blue going on in the picture with the mat and the bleachers and this had both of those you know couple different tones of blue so I liked that and there was um just lots of color going on so I just kind of went with a variety of different patterns and colors and had fun with it so same thing here now I had already this at my last scrapbook weekend I did a ton of layouts about um Keaton's one act experience and I guess I had forgotten I had done this already but this is kind of a nice like overall um view of her experience and so I'm okay like having maybe some of the pic same pictures multiple times but um, I had kind of forgotten that I had done this but this will just be maybe the first page and then I'll have the other pages in there behind it that have more of the specific detailed stories um, and photos but so this was a lot of fun to do um, and uh, again same thing I had the, I think this is a five by eight protector. I have like a bazillion different sizes of page protectors that I've collected over the years with different albums or, di you know, di just I have a ton and I keep them because you never know when a certain size is going to work. And um, so anyway, so this is great because I can have the program from their very first performance. Um, it's fully in here so you can get, you can take it out, look at their names, all that kind of stuff in there. So this will go again right next to it. It'll just go into, I may have to repunch some of these holes. We'll see how it fits into the 12 by 12 um, album, but that's not a big deal. So, so I did just lots of fun um, detailing with stickers and these letters were perfect perfect for this for this subject and it was like a vintage play like it was based back like in the 50s or 60s and so I used some of the vintage elements and the lines and just work and play was perfect because they had a great time but they did have to work hard um, the stars were perfect just there were so many things about in this kit that worked really well for that subject so and then last is, this is the one I did the process video on <laughs> and ended up changing it after I did the process video, but that's totally okay. So just a funny picture of my daughter and she, it was just typical of her. We were, we were laughing 
and I took a picture of her um, because she couldn't stop me from doing so. <laughs> and so just did a layout and just did uh, some really simple layering behind her photo, behind the photo with some embellishment and then down here as well. So another pretty simple layout, but yeah, so there's my layout share. Um, with the end of that, I think that will be the end of that kit as far as doing, um, you know, working with it in an organized way. I'll probably keep it out just because of the color scheme. So if I get some pictures on my phone or, um, for my client that maybe match those colors better, I'll still have it available to me. But, um, so you'll, you may still see some, some layouts from that collection of supplies. Um, but for right now, I'm kind of focusing on trying to use up some Maggie Homes. So if you guys, well, I don't know if I, I don't know. I was gonna say, if you guys wanna see <laughs> my large Maggie Homes kit, I may do a video here soon on that. Actually, I'm just going to. Um, because it's always fun to look at Maggie home stuff, right? There's one kit or one collection I did not include. It was the cir circus themed collection just because I hadn't played with it at all. Um, and I wanted to work with that on its own, but every other collection of hers I have put together. Um, and I just ordered her very most recent one. Um, it's on pre-order still, I think, but so maybe I'll, if you just want to hang tight, um, I'll be uploading a video here shortly showing you. Um, I know you already saw me a bunch of layouts I already made with, with it from the weekend I was with Angie, which we're doing again here in like a week and a half. I'm so excited. Um, but I can, maybe this will be like my new, my just kind of a new kit that I'm working with, even though I've been working with it. Um, I didn't do a video before I started. So, um, well, we'll see, we'll see what I end up doing, or I might just, um, pull out something brand new um, for my next kit love video. We'll see what happens. I'm not for sure what I'm in the mood for. So thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to my babbling as usual. Um, but I hope you are all doing well and happy scrubbing. Bye-bye.